shouldn't want you, I shouldn't need you, but I'm afraid that's not up to me. Cause when I hear you sing through my speakers, it's like my mind takes a hold of me. I've tried shutting you off for some time now, but I'm still hearing your voice in my head. Oh, I wish I was more than your fan now, and that your voice came from here. To start, go ahead and grab your favorite primer. I'm going to grab e.l.f. Cosmetics Poreless Putty Primer. To use this, make sure to warm it up with your hands before applying it. I like this primer because it helps me create an even base for my foundation. I have super red skin, so I'm grabbing Dr. Jart's Cica Pear Color Correcting Treatment to help me soothe this. The green helps cancel out a lot of the redness my skin has. While I let my skin dry with these products, let's start with brows. Go ahead and use your fave brow gel or glue to shape your brows however you like. I like my brows straight, so I focus their gel mostly on the tail end of my brows. I then apply NYX brow tint pen in my areas that look a bit empty. When my skin is dry, I go in with Misha's Magic Cushion all over my face. I would say the coverage is medium. I personally don't like the feeling of full coverage foundation, so I'm okay if my scars shine through a bit. But since I do have some blemishes, I want more coverage on these areas. I'm grabbing ColourPop's Creamy Concealer and applying it to those areas. Next, make sure to prime your eyelids, then grab any warm orange. I'm grabbing Savvy from Ashley Lee's palette downtown and apply it in your crease with a fluffy brush. Now to add dimension, dip a denser brush into the shade Pooh Bear from ColourPop's palette Sweet As Can Be and mix it with the shade Guestless to create a deeper shade of orange. Make sure to bring this down to your bottom lash line. To make your eyes more sultry, grab a precision blending brush and dip it into a deep brown eyeshadow. I'm using the shade in my tumbly. Go ahead and focus primarily on the outer corners of your eyelid. I would start with the light hand at the end of your eyelid, then with very little product left on the brush, move slightly into the crease of your eyelid. I personally like a lot of sparkles, so I'm picking up the shade Oh Bother with my fingers and pressing it all over my lids. Hua Chung's eyes are smoldering, so grab an angled eyeliner brush and dip it into your favorite black eyeshadow. I'm using Essence Soft Touch Eyeshadow in the shade Pitch Black. I went with the wing eyeliner look, but also brought it down to the inner corners of my eyes. Going back to your skin, grab Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Eraser in the shade Light and apply it on your under eyes. Blend it with a beauty blender, then set it with a translucent powder like the one I'm using by one size. To warm up our face, grab a contour stick. I'm using this Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser in the shade Hazelnut and chiseling areas of my face where I want more dimension. For me, it's my forehead, cheeks, jawline, and nose. We want to look like we're blushing for all the romantic things Hua Chong says. So grab Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Bisque and brush it onto your cheeks. With that, comment down below your favorite quote from Hua Chong. To make this eye look pop out more, I'm using lashes called Soft Bloom from Doe Lashes. I cut them in half because it gives me a more softer look. look off, line your lips with the nude pink, and then grab a lip stain. I'm using ColourPop's Kiss Glossy Lip Stain in the shade Tutti Fruity. Start at the center of your lip and then gradually pat it all over the rest of your lip. Tiffany here. I just wanted to thank you all for watching this Heaven's Official Blessing Inspired Makeup Look. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel for more makeup looks like this.